how to form a quadratic equation if the two roots are given. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your MAT skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at how to form a quadratic equation. How to form a quadratic equation if the two roots are given? If ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero is given with roots alpha and beta, so therefore, we have to find a SOR and POR. So SOR stands for sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta, and is equals to negative b over a. And the POR stands for product of roots, which is alpha beta, equals to c over a. Remember to memorize this by heart, because we're going to use this to form a quadratic equation. Okay, if p and q are the roots, then quadratic equation is x squared minus SOR times x plus POR equals to zero. So if p and q are the roots, so therefore x squared minus in bracket p plus q whole thing times with x plus pq equals to zero. So now let's look at question number one. For question one, it is given that the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals to zero has roots alpha and beta. A. Find the values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. B. Hence, find the quadratic equation which has the roots 3 over alpha and 3 over beta. To solve A, find the values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So alpha plus beta is the SOR and alpha beta is the POR. Okay, first I'm going to write down the equation here. So 3x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals to 0. Okay, so for A, to find the SOR, so the SOR is alpha plus beta is equal to negative b over a. So from the equation, the b is negative 7 and the a is 3. So therefore, the answer is 7 over 3. Okay? So to find the power, power is product of roots which is alpha times beta and is equal to c over a. So c is 5 and a is 3. So this c and this a. Okay? So this is the answer. Okay, now let's solve for b. So, hence find the quadratic equation which has the roots of 3 over alpha and 3 over beta. So these are the new roots. Okay, so the new roots are 3 over alpha and 3 over beta. Okay, so I'm going to find a SOR and POR for these new roots. So SOR, okay, which is 3 over alpha plus 3 over beta. So equals to 3 beta cross, multipli cross multiplication. Eh? So 3 beta plus 3 alpha then over alpha beta. So the top I can factorize it. So 3 alpha plus beta okay, over alpha beta. So alpha plus beta the value is 7 over 3. 7 over 3 okay, and alpha beta is 5 over 3. So 5 over 3 and the answer is 21 over 5. Okay, now we find the power. Okay, so this one is 3 over alpha times with 3 over beta and it's equals to 9 over alpha beta and alpha beta the value is 5 over 3 so therefore it's 9 over 5 over 3 and it's equals to 27 over 5. Okay, so now to form a new quadratic equation so I'm going to substitute into this formula x squared minus SOR times x plus POR equals to 0, okay? So x squared minus, so SOR is 21 over 5, so 21 over 5 x plus POR is 27 over 5, so 27 over 5 equals to 0, okay? So because I do want my answer to be in fraction, so all the terms times 5, so become 5 x squared minus 21 x plus 27 equals to 0. So this is the final answer. For question 2, one of 
the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared minus mx plus m equals to 0, whereby m is not equal to 0. It's twice the other root. Find the value of m and determine the values of the roots. So, the quadratic equation given is 2x squared minus mx plus m equals to 0. So, we let the root, okay, the roots to be alpha and 2 alpha. So, we find the SOR and the POR for these roots. So, SOR is alpha plus 2 alpha, okay, which is equal to negative b over a. So, 2 alpha plus 2 alpha is 3 alpha equals to. So, in this equation, the b is m, negative m. So, negative, then negative m. The a is 2, so over 2. Okay, so alpha is equal to m over, so this 3, shift over to the right hand side, it becomes 3 times 2 will be 6. Okay, this one I take it as equation 1. So to find the pore, okay, which is alpha times 2 alpha, which is equal to c over a. So alpha times 2 alpha is 2 alpha square, which is m over 2. So alpha square is equal to m over and I take this as equation 2. Then I'm going to substitute 1 into 2. Okay, so it will be so alpha square will be m over 6 whole thing square equals to m over 4. Okay, so we're going to expand this. So m square over 6 square is 36 equals to m over 4. Okay, and then I'm going to Shift this over to the right hand side, so m square equals to m over 4 times with 36. So we get equals to 9m, and then everything moves to the left hand side, so we become m square minus 9m equals to 0. And then we factorize this, so m bracket m minus 9 equals to 0. So therefore m is equals to 0, and m is equals to 9. But because in the question it's stated here, m cannot be equal to 0. So therefore, okay, because m is not equal to 0, okay, so therefore m is equal to 9. Okay? And then next is we're going to substitute m equals to 9 into the original equation, which is 2x squared minus mx plus m equals to 0. Okay? So it's going to be <coughs> 2x squared minus 9x plus 9 equals to 0. Next, we are going to factorize this into two brackets. So equals to 0. So it's 2x here and x. And here is negative 3, negative 3. So therefore, the values of the roots are, so x equals to 3 over 2 and 3. Okay, so this is the final answer. Given alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation 3x squared minus x minus 15 equals to 0. Form a new quadratic equation with roots 5 minus alpha and 5 minus beta. Okay, so for this, given the equation which is 3x squared minus x minus 15 equals to 0. Okay, and the roots are alpha and beta. So for this, I'm going to find the SOR and POR. So the SOR will be alpha plus beta equals to negative b over a. So the b is negative 1 and the a is 3. So a is 3. Okay? So it's equals to 1 over 3. And then the power will be alpha times beta, which is c over a. So the c is negative 15 and the a is 3. So it's equals to negative 5. Okay? So the new roots given are 5 minus alpha and 5 minus beta. So we're going to find the SOR and POR for these new roots. So the SOR will be 5 minus alpha plus 5 minus beta equals to 10 minus alpha minus beta. So equals to 10 minus alpha plus beta. So alpha plus beta, the value is 1 over 3. I'm going to substitute this into here. So it becomes 10 minus 1 over 3 and it's equal to 29 over 3 and now I'm going to find the power so power will be 5 minus alpha times with 5 minus beta 
So equals to 25 minus 5 alpha minus 5 beta plus alpha beta. So it's equals to 25 minus 5 alpha plus beta then plus alpha beta. Okay, so alpha plus beta, we can get the value from here, sub into here, and alpha beta is here, negative 5, sub into here. So we get 25 minus 5, bracket 1 over 3, then plus negative 5. And the answer is 53, 55 over 3. Okay, so next, I'm going to substitute into the quadratic equation. Okay, so x squared minus SOR, whole thing times x, plus POR, equals to 0. So x squared minus, so the new SOR is 29 over 3, so 29 over 3, okay, x plus POR is 55 over 3. So 55 over 3 equals to 0, okay? And because we don't want our answer to be in fraction, so therefore all the terms times 3. So it becomes 3x squared minus 29x plus 55 equals to 0. So that's the final answer. Well, that's all for now. Are you a pro in forming quadratic equations already? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos. And as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!